Welcome to Pi and Squaring the Circle Part 2. Hopefully you have seen Part 1 which outlines the true value of Pi. I need to stress the importance of viewing this series of videos in a numerical order. Otherwise a person will lose my thread of reasoning. Before we proceed to square any given circle, we need to replace the conventional pi, which is an irrational constant that can only give us approximations with a rational pi. Let us ma make it clear what we mean by pi. Pi is the relationship, the ratio, between the length of the side of a square and the diameter of a circle the circle having the same circumference as the square. In other words, the side of the square x over the diameter of a circle y. Our first requirement. Our first task is to find a constant ratio k which will give us a footprint of the arc of a circle bow. In other words, we need to flatten the arc AB of the bow into a chord to get a corresponding value. Let us make it clear what we mean by a footprint. The conversion constant K is the ratio between the chord and the arc footprint of the bow of any circle. If we flatten the arc of a chord that is x units, then the length of the flattened arc will be y units. The ratio k is then x over y. The, radio, the ratio x over y of the chord to the arc of the bow of any circle is 21 over 22. This is obtained from 1 Kings 7 verse 21 to 22 of the King James Bible. K is X over Y which is 21 over 22. The cord, the pillar, is 21 units. The arc, the lily, is 22 units. Now that we have k is equal to 21 over 22, we can proceed to establish pi by means of deduction. The first step of our deduction. We can now calculate the flat line circumference of a circle as 6 arcs times 22 units. The chord circumference is 6 chords times 21 units. The circle chord diameter is 2 times 21, which is 42 units. The ratio of the diameter to the footprint circumference of the circle will therefore be 42 over 132, which is 7 over 22. Pi 11 over 14. Deduction, se the second step. We now have the flat line circumference of our circle which we now turn into a square. The side of the derived square will be 22 divided by 4 which is 5.5 units. 22 being the circumference and obviously there are four sides to a square. The diameter of our circle is 7 units. The ratio pi is therefore 5.5 over 7. More conveniently expressed, pi is 11 over 14. We have managed to establish the relationship pi between the side of a square derived from our circle and the diameter of a circle with the same circumference as the square. 
we are now able to correct our approximation pi formulas so that they conform to reality. Calculations based on pi will differ slightly from the pi approximations. In our next session we will proceed to square any given circle so that the surface area of the square is equal to the surface area of the same circle.